Okay. Sorry for anybody who's expecting me to be on time. I went from almost ready to 20 minutes late in, well, apparently about 20 minutes. So let me just do a tweet and those type of things. And then we can move along to some testing. I do not, I do not want to start recording the 12 days of Christmas series until my new camera gets here. Um, I've been really, really, well, not really, really, but I've been disappointed with my last couple tutorials. Um, the camera is just such a, such a distraction and such a hassle right now that, um, <clears throat> even though I wanted to get an early start, it's at this point more important, I think, to wait for the camera. So, um, um, let's, that's not the whole URL, what the hell. Um, copy paste, please. Um, all right, there's the tweet. And let's also make a Discord post. Um, um, Oh, I'm a little bit discombobulated. I've had a little bit of a kind of stressful week. All right. Can't type either, apparently. That is done. I feel like I'm forgetting something else. Um, I've got my title updated. I've got my, my tags updated. Hi, Sunburnt. Hang on. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Musical. So, I... I have a direction today, but I don't, uh, I, I don't have exactly a plan. I don't think I could say. I have started a little bit of, of brainstorming what I want to do for the 12 days of Christmas. Hi, Momo. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I apparently I'm still a little bit hoarse, even though I haven't streamed, um, all week. Well, since since last weekend maybe I should also have a drink of water because water is the best hydrator of course hmm. maybe I should adjust this bean can a little bit too oops there's the microphone oops there's a bottle of polish sunburned with the twitch Prime four month resub. Thank you so much. Almost forgot it's resub day. You know, I wish, I mean, thank you for remembering. And I mean, I, I wish that Twitch like built in something that would like help Prime users out because it seems to me, I think it's cool you can use your Prime sub wherever you want each month. And of course, thank you for using it here. But like, would be nice if they popped up a reminder like, hey, your Prime sub is available or did you want to continue using your Prime sub on, on this channel again or something? Hi, Fuzzy. And hello, Divinity. I finally made it to a live stream, but you have to go to church in two minutes. Oh, no. Well, de depending on how long I stream and depending on how long church is, you, uh, you, I, I may still be going when you get back. I really don't know how long I'm going to be going. <clears throat> Hello, KJD. Yeah, I mean, but but thank you, thank you so much. That's always a wonderful way to start out the stream, with uh, 
with a resub. And that and that's why I'm glad I streamed. I really I've I've well some of you know that have we've run into in other streams that I've had kind of a stressful week. But there's not really anything that I can do about it. So you know, I wish it was as easy as, well, if there's nothing you can do about it, well, then just don't stress out about it. But it's not always that easy. Hey, Jersey. So for 12 days of Christmas, I was just saying, this is, this is strictly going to be testing. We're not going to be doing a manicure. Uh, my nails are just clear coat because I didn't want to leave them naked. I needed to uh, protect these two pretty serious patches that I have on my nails right now and I need to protect the other nails because it's, it's freaking winter and everything sucks um and also because I took out my extensions and I'm gonna need to wash my hair and I don't want them to get waterlogged but I I haven't washed my hair since I took out the extensions so not not fit per, for public consumption at the moment anyway um I don't want to actually start recording the tutorials until my new camera comes and my new camera is not here yet. So although I wanted to like get an early start to the series, I feel like it's also um, like important to to get tutorials that I'm happy with and I really haven't been happy with the last couple that I that I managed to string together with this camera that's just dying. Yeah, Jersey, I have, like, I feel like all summer, all I was dealing with was really minor stuff, but, like, right now, I have, like, a break, like, halfway across on that middle finger, and a very similar break, very low, about halfway across on this ring finger, and I actually had to file down, the heck is that, I had to file down this middle nail, because... It had just a little tiny catchy break that just refused to stay patched. And I caught it on something and it just like completely ripped off. And I was just like looking at it. I was like, I don't have the patience right now to actually do like a, a tip extension. Hi, Amethyst. <clears throat> PC viewing. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is the superior experience. Which one did I go with? Which, which what? I'm sorry if I, I, I'm sorry for any spaciness. I am, I am a little bit tired. And like I said, I have been a little bit stressed out the same finger. Yeah. I didn't want to go too short cause you know, 12 days of Christmas, more, more nails is more, um, real estate or canvas or whatever you want to say. Oh, the camera. Duh. That, that should have been obvious. So I'm, I'm like, I've done it and I'm still not completely at ease with it. I ended up getting two. I ended up getting the, uh, they're both cannons. I like cannons. I mean, this one, God, when did I look back and figure out how old this camera was? I think this camera is seven years old and it has had a rough, rough life. So I, I can't even be mad that this camera is starting to break now. It's really done well by me. The camera that I had prior to this is actually still in use by my mom. So I stuck with camera Canon as the brand the one that will be my video primarily camera uh is uh like i probably still have a tab open somewhere i'm the queen of having multiple tabs open but i feel like i should be able to remember the proper name the g7x mark ii <laughs> just kind of a mouthful and then i wanted one with more zoom and that was I mean, not like a cheap camera, but a little bit cheaper as far as like tossing around in my camera and being a little like more of a traveling camera. Like the one that's for my videos, it's really good. It's got a, it's got a big sensor, but it only has like four zooms. So that's probably just going to stay here. It's just going to live in my room. It's going to be, you know, strictly mostly for videos and maybe for hand shots. And the other one will be like to toss in my purse and travel with and not worry about as much and that one crap I don't remember let me <laughs> let me look here um because I was going the other if I had not gone with the g7x I was gonna go with the I think the 7 the sx740 
but um that was a, a bit too expensive to go as just like my my secondary backup camera i got a sx620 so i think that'll be and they both came with um it's always kind of dumb to me like cameras don't even come with memory cards anymore but they both came with some pretty hefty memory cards and a little uh case and stuff and i did i did have a pretty hefty gift card which made the the purchase a little bit easier but it was still I mean like it it didn't cover the whole thing so I'm hoping you know I'm, I'm trying not to, to second guess myself but those right now the the delivery status ETA or whatever you want to call it says that they will be here Wednesday um at first it was saying Monday and I really would have preferred that tomorrow's tutorial on YouTube is going to be the water marble that we did um day before Thanksgiving I guess and so that will be tomorrow's tutorial and then next Sunday is when I would like to kick off 12 days of Christmas as far as on my YouTube channel so the the, the more days I give myself extra the the less hectic it is because if I just give myself 12 days to do 12 days of Christmas that's literally a manicure and editing and uploading and all that stuff all these like really a lot of stuff every single day if I have I, I would love to give myself like a extra week but that would have involved not waiting until Black Friday and I think I ended up saving like hundred and eighty dollars or something so it was worth it to wait you know from that standpoint but now I am anxious because I'm like man I, I kind of really I need I need them to be here now um well I need one of them to be here now but they're they're coming together <laughs> so oh that's too bad sunburned yeah yeah I, I know exactly what you mean Mm. yeah both and instead of either or musical so and um what was I gonna say oh so starting on Monday would already have been a little bit later than I wanted starting on Wednesday is another two days later than I wanted but I I don't feel like I have much choice because what I have planned out and what I've seen that I'm able to accomplish with what this this camera this this poor little abused baby is still able to accomplish I mean look at it look how worn it is <laughs> I mean I I have a case for it but I stopped using the case like a couple years ago it just gets tossed in my camp in my uh in my purse and when I say tossed <clears throat> I literally mean tossed um like the the limitations in how long of a video you can shoot and the the jumpiness the jerkiness of the camera is just getting worse and worse um and i i really like the direction the the ideas that i've got so far for 12 days of christmas so i feel like they deserve more than a half ass tutorial so as far as the ideas to actually like start talking about nail art and stuff which you guys are here for I toyed around a little bit with the idea of the winter water marble wonderland and uh, I thought that doing all water marbles would get too like I don't want all the designs to be like Christmas but I mean it's it's a Christmas series and I thought that doing only water marbles would like kind of not be Christmassy enough I don't want to be like every single thing perfectly Christmas red white and green only but I want there to be a, a definite winter and Christmas feel to it so I also really liked the way we were able to transform the Thanksgiving gradient into a water marble so half of the series is going to be water marbles we're going to use that same idea we're going to do nail art and then we're going to use those nail art colors to water marble. <clears throat> the problem with that, of course, is not everything water marbles. So it's not like you could just automatically pick something and be guaranteed that it's going to water marble well. So the testing is going to be 
picking out the colors that I think I want for the nail art and testing how they water marble first. Because if they don't water, I mean, not, not that there can't necessarily be any, um, alterations. I mean, even with the, the gradient compared to the water marble, uh, the gradient, we didn't use any base. The water marble, we used a white base and it brought out some different characters in the colors. Uh, the gradient used the gold topper and the water marble di didn't, stuff like that. So it's not like everything has to be exactly the same, but, um... I think I, I want to try to stick to the same as much as possible. So I've got, kind of hard to see. My writing is somewhat kind of messy, but I've got some uh, ideas and colors and stuff already sketched out. Actually, where did I put the, oh, they're up here. I, I'm gonna need some of these. And I and the the designs that are not water marbles, I'm gonna try, try and do like a few different techniques. Not necessarily all every single different technique, but I think if if I can get some good testing going, I think I have the whole twelve days planned, which is already a load off my shoulders. So let's see, I'll need those. And I'm just, I'm, I've got my envelope of, of nail vinyls here and I'm just pulling the ones that I, uh, I'm going to need out of here. And I don't, I don't know that I'm necessarily going to get to testing everything today, but I would like to at least get through testing a couple days worth. Okay. So do I need any of these other one, two three okay <clears throat> hey sparkly so today we are starting the testing for 12 days of christmas and we're probably not going to get to well unless i decide to just like stick a color on my nails like they are kind of plain right now um because of my camera issues and because my new camera is not here yet Wolfie the Azion. Azion? Thank you for the follow. Um, because my new camera is not here yet, I, I'm not feeling trying to record another tutorial. Especially these. I don't know. This series has kind of a special place in my heart. It's always kind of ridiculously hard to get it all done. Like, this is already a hectic time of year. This year, it's, you, you know, possibly even more so. It's... I've been really stressed out, like I said, and, but I still want to do this. I don't want to just like blow it off because this is a, is a thing that I, I don't even quite know how to explain it. Like it, sh it shows me my own potential. Like usually I do one or maybe two tutorials a week, usually just one putting out 12, you know, like straight like that. And usually like I said, usually, despite my best intentions, I don't end up starting very early. Like, it shows me, like, what I should be doing. Like, how how organized I can be when I have a deadline like this in front of me. But I, I can't, like, fake myself out with, like, fake deadlines. Like, you have to do this by such and such. Like, fake deadlines don't work. <laughs> <clears throat> Your favorite na series of nail art of all time. Oh, thank you, Momo. <clears throat> Hi, Victoria. Thank you, Sparkly. I really, that's, that's why I didn't want to just like skip stream because streaming is always <sighs> therapeutic. You know, you guys are, you guys are awesome. Hi, Julia. And, uh, like I said, what the... The thing that, that's stressing me out is not a thing that I can do anything about. So I need to find ways to, you know, distract myself. Because <sighs> feelings are valid, but I can't just like wallow in feelings. So let's see if we can go over some of my notes here. I remember a couple of these I was very certain of and a couple of these I was not so certain of. I'll turn this around so you can see. I don't remember what day I was working on this. 
So day one and two, I'm thinking, and I usually try to start out like it's on, on the simpler side and work up to more complicated stuff. Time for some inspo. Um, so I was thinking like, just like I said, not everything's super Christmassy. Some of this is just more wintry. Some of it's just kind of, like I say, ornate stuff that reminds me more like wrapping paper or uh, decorations than just like literal fucking Christmas trees. Um, gradient and tree branches is something I've done before and I almost always really like how it turns out. Almost always have like huge criticisms of myself also, but... I was thinking to do that with maybe like a lavender to gray gradient, lighter, medium, or where are we here? Lighter, medium gray, and kind of like a grayish lavender at the bottom, and then do some branches that were actually kind of snow covered with like maybe a, like sn snow covered in silver or something a little bit metallic, or, or maybe just with white, because with the, the second the thing would be do the nail art first then the next day is the water marble of those colors the the metallic element that I kind of want to add in this part of it of course like I said I don't have to use exactly the same but if I could find a metallic color that would water marble well you know picture that like a, a grayed out lavender light gray medium gray really dark gray or black and like a metallic sparkly type of thing going on the other thing of course is uh, like the water mar marble patterns. And I was like, well, I could just keep them all simple. I could switch them up. I, I really haven't decided on that very much, except on the last one. I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do. And I can't quite like read all my, all my notes upside down, but, um, but we'll get there. So day three and four, I, I love red and gold combination. I'm much more likely to go red and gold than red and silver and much more likely to go green and silver than green and gold. Um, I was thinking bows, like red, red nails with gold bowls, although gold bowls with gold, blah, blah, blah. gold nails with red bows would also be cool. I don't know if I'm actually, I really am not a huge fan of any of these bows. I might need to look into some stamping for this. I know I have bow stamps. Of course, that, that would, again, stuff that stamps and stuff that water marbles to be able to find. Of course, maybe I don't even need to use exactly the same polish. Maybe I just want to find dupes. Maybe one of the dupes is a good stamp or one of the dupes is a good water marbler. <laughs> yeah, silver, silver is a good go-to. Pick you up. I mean, how can you be mad when you're looking at something so shiny? Um. Yeah, and then like just red and gold seems kind of basic for water marble. So I was like, well, would I want to throw in a black highlight here, like a black outline to the bow, and then a black couple of rings added to the water marble? Uh, day five and six, I have been for a long time. In fact. Let me, let me look in here if it's in this one or if it's in my previous nail polish sketchbook. If I already have testing for this. Because I actually... Whoa. That might be in the other... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's in the other sketchbook. I've been wanting to do an icicle reciprocal gradient. So like, you know, kind of a triangle sort of thing like these well I was, <laughs> I was trying to get the angle where you can actually see where the vinyls are cut out forgetting I'd already peeled one out of here but you could see like picture that you know pointing up toward the tip of your nail and then doing some probably holographic sort of gradient for the reciprocal and then for that I was thinking might possibly go good with like a fishtail or chevron looking water marble pattern the green, I want to do something with green. I'm not sure if I want to do it green and silver or shades of green. And I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to do it like a garland or like a Christmas tree. Or possibly even swap the green and the red and do like the red with the gold as garlands. And then do the green with like some kind of silver bows. 
because those two color combinations are probably the Christmassy-est colors and they are somewhat intentionally also getting the Christmassy-est patterns. Christmassy, Christmas, blah, 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 blah. Cassie loves God. Thank you for the follow. I, f- I feel like my tongue is not fully cooperating, but something, the green, the green and the red are the least finalized. And I think I, I've always thought that I should be able to get like a scribbly pattern like this to show up at like a Christmas tree shape in a water marble. Like if you pull it or if you pull it into stripes and then you do like a jagged zigzag down the center, <clears throat> I feel like you should be able to create a, like a Christmas tree shape. I think the trick would be getting it to small enough in the cup so that it translated to being a Christmas tree on your nails. It might be a little bit difficult. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So green would be day seven and eight. Day nine and ten, I'm I'm pretty set on. I think I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't what I don't know is how the fuck I'm gonna translate it to a water marble, but I want to include it in the twelve days of Christmas. So we've got these these vinyls which if I get them at just to can you guys barely see the reflection some of these are so hard to show there this one by my by my thumb you can kind of see how it's like striped but they're not like even stripes oh it's so hard to show and I don't want to just like peel them up because I don't want to like waste their stickiness they're they're basically a pattern kind of like what I've got sketched here I want to do a gel manicure, put that on, and then do alternating stripes of gold and silver chrome, um, like a wrapping paper, very like glossy, metallic, shiny. Oh, your internet connection dropped a bit. Well, we're, we're not to anything too fun. We're just going over my, my weird little notes. Yeah, I mean trying to get stuff small like that like I can picture the design but every time I've tried it it's just come out kind of like honking large like way larger than I actually want it to be um so I really like that idea I feel like it would look very wrapping paper and very like elegant and like great but what I don't know is how I'm gonna like translate that into a water marble like I've got like this like little note here like maybe I can do like a white off-white water marble and then freehand on the, like the off-white with the gel polish and then like I don't know that is this is gonna be the biggest challenge figuring out how to like make that work I mean I could do it would be a lot easier if I did like a black and white water marble and then I could just either do the black or the white, but that would change like, like chrome pigment and gold pigment over white versus over black. It's very different. Yes, but I want to use the two colors of chrome. That's the, that's the trick. Or maybe I could, No, I don't know. But that's that's one of the reasons this is this would be like day 9, 10. Because I need to figure out exactly how I would accomplish that. Day 11 and 12, we've got the... Okay, there we go. I wish they all showed up this nicely. Like this stained glass pattern. Uh, nail vinyls. And when I kind of like measured my finger up next to them, it looks like at this length I could probably get away with cutting these in half this way and getting two two nails out of each vinyl and then I would probably just you know like left hand would get all the left left side halves and right hand would get all the right side halves something like that um or maybe alternate I don't know but I I think that would be because like on these on these large nail vinyl sheets you only get 12 So it's like, I I would like to be able to stretch them a little bit more. And at this length of my nails, I think I could get away with stretch with, with doing what I want to do. 
anyway so use this nail vinyl get a, the silver base do do i actually have it out i don't think i do the opi color paints have a silver base that's called like silver canvas i think and then like doing a gradient with like the stained glass pieces so like do a couple like here one color then do like a few more this color then a few more and then continue on to the next nail like that and then in the water marble it wouldn't be you know like stained glassy shapes but it would be the same similar colors because you're not going to fit there's like eight colors in the color paints you're not going to fit all eight on one nail so it would be the same the same three or the same four as the stained glass design which this is this is representative of um in the water marble colors and i was thinking that would be a perfect opportunity to do uh stamped water marble because then you can like get two out of it and you can do the pinkies the rings the middle the index together since they'd have the similar colors because the nails next to each other aren't going to have i hope i'm making sense <laughs> hmm I've seen people use a stamping plate to transfer chrome powder, but like, I don't want, I don't want to, but do a blah, blah, blah. And I do have a couple like water marble stamp designs, but I want to like actually <coughs> I want to have an, a real, um, my, my vocabulary is completely deserted me. Organic, like the organic water marble shapes. Yeah, like a swirl of chrome. Yeah, I I don't know. I I've never I've never even done what I want to do, which is you know using the. I wish this would. There, kind of. Um, using the chrome with vinyls. I mean, I've I've seen that done before too. Like you said, Instagram has convinced me, but it's something I've never actually done. So. I, I just um yeah so we've we've got that's that's the encompassment that's not a word <laughs> that that's our plan such as it is um there's a lot to do there's a lot to do um and I I haven't started at all where okay hold on just a sec If, if you were a completed nail art sketchbook, where would you live? If not next to my other freaking sketchbooks. <laughs> I know for, I'm, I'm 90% sure. Okay, wait. Is it over here? No. I'm sure wherever I stashed it is a logical place, but I can't imagine what would be more logical than just right there where it should be. Um, I'm 90% sure I've done testing for the icicle reciprocal in the past. In the slot between the desk and the helmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I did used to have a shitload of stuff right here, but with now that I have four Helmers next to my desk, there actually is no gap. Is it? I do have one of the one of these days, you guys. 
I mean, ideally, I I would have gotten everything completely organized long before 12 Days of Christmas. But in reality, that didn't happen. So I kind of wonder if, uh, if I've got some colors in my new julep collection, <laughs> my extensive julep collection that I now have, um that might actually work for some of these or I feel like I kind of remember seeing a couple combinations that I really liked but now I don't remember which which particular color combinations those were that's nice see now if this water marble this would be perfect for what I kind of have in mind with the branches That's a, like a really dark. I mean, that, that I know that's not snow colored it's artistic license, you guys. Um, and I mean, we'd need a dark, dark gray or a black for branches. We've got these. And. But do I have like light gray? Because I want like a light gray for part of the gradient. Mm, this is kind of more like a, a medium. Whoa, I'm shaking the whole camera. I apologize. Ooh, that sounds great. Actually, I'm not at all on camera here, am I? See, this, this, this is kind of a, it's kind of too dark and it's kind of too blue. And if you want to know the names of any of these, let me know. Or you can go back and watch the Julep haul um, from last week. Where? I, I now, I now have close to whoa sorry bean that's exactly what happened before isn't it except a little bit less dramatic boys and girls be very careful when you're in the back of your helmer i i actually had a whole zoya color story that i may still go with um especially because my zoyas are also right here but i feel like see there's these white with a with a blue flash but where is the lavender i mean this is kind of lavender but it's it's more metallic than what i was thinking and it's a darker purple um oh, whoa okay learned my lesson i've got my hand under here so as not to smoosh the bean Anybody that did not see it, I uh, I left a Helmer drawer far far open, farther open than it should have been, and it fell out, and it scared the shit out of Beanie. <laughs> That's actually see the thing is I'm not I'm not finding the lavender, and I could change my mind, but that was kind of like the whole. For, for some reason, I really want this background gradient to have, like, a soft lavender to it. See, there's another dark gray, a really dark gray. But, okay, that's, that's going to be a nope then. Because I can't, I can't find the lavender. Of course, I have, like, not sorted these at all. And I really thought I had seen it, but now the trick is... Am I actually going to find the Zoyas that I think I want? Yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> the sparkly orange panic basket. Which is like the best. Hey, this is not what I was looking for, but this is actually kind of great. Oh, expensive sparkly orange panic basket. This is actually... Oops, you've got... You've got bean hair on you. Like this shade of lavender, but this one has, see, it's got a lot of silver in it. 
see what else we can dig up here. Oh, that's beautiful. I wish I had an excuse to use this. <laughs> of course. I mean, I suppose I could go really out of the box and do the branches dark purple instead of like gray. <laughs> Ooh. It's a, uh, what do they call these? Matte velvet. This is a uh, <clears throat> iris. Um, no, that's a greenish gray. This is probably too dark. I'm finding all I'm finding all kinds of purpley color story. This one too. Oh, let's uh, okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. Like purpley grays and purples and lavenders. Let's see what else we got in here. Mm, probably not you. I mean, these are all very, very purple. I don't, I don't think I want to go that purple. I want to go some purple and more gray. <clears throat> you really want to do Christmas? Well, you could do both. Um, do we have some grays down here? Maybe not. The, Zo the Zoyas are like half organized. Um, that this could possibly be. No! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Remember our lesson last week? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I I startled myself. I, it, and it's one of the reasons I try to keep in mind, don't just grab it by the handle and shake because you fucking, the bottle just, so get a grip on your, get a grip on your polish. See, this is more in that like really grayed out, purplish gray, grayed out. That's a very blue gray. Mm. Of course, this might also be really nice for some for some snow if I don't go with the dark sparkly gray get like some really bright sparkly white silver oh no not, not. well you would be good but you definitely aren't gonna marble um oh is this oh this is Trixie Where's Freya? Oh, you know, they might not even be in this drawer yet. Oh, crap. I might have to go. Oops. Oh, dang it. Dang it. This is what I was talking about. Just like we were having the troubles with the, uh, with the juleps. Um, a lot of my Zoyas that were stored in the drawers with, uh, the mat, the anti-skid mat, have done that. Um, is this the drawer I was in before, just a minute ago? Uh, uh, um, I'll have to stick, no, that's too big. I'll have to stick that back on. I think I need to go look in the other gray drawer. <laughs> yeah I, I like these together I think even if I can't find the couple other that I'm looking for I can accomplish what I want with these the trick is going to be figuring out which of these we can marble with that's always the trick Another label. And you're both 
not what I was looking for. Darn. Darn, you guys. Um. Did I already take them out of it? Do I? Oh. Okay. <laughs> These two, I, I don't want to just stick in the drawer because they need their labels stuck back on. Where can I put these where I won't lose track of what's what? And I'm not going to use you, so you can just actually go in here. But where is one of these what I'm looking for and I just don't realize it? No. <clears throat> Yeah, it was like, it's not something I even gave a second thought to when I originally laid them down sunburned. <laughs> no, you gotta write it down. I mean, white chocolate and brandy are obviously the most important. Oh, no, you guys. It's snowing. I'm, I'm not a fan of snow this year. My car's all-wheel drive is broken and I don't know how much it's going to cost to get it fixed and so I'm not a fan of snow because without all-wheel drive, it reverts to rear-wheel drive. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's uh, what you should do. Leave yourself notes in chat. <laughs> oh, you got a Miracle Mat on Black Friday. Fun. I, I love my Miracle Mat. I would, I'm kind of, if I buy, blah, if, if I go on another, like, purchasing spree, I didn't buy any nail polish stuff on Black Friday. I, a after doing that huge haul and, and needing to purchase the cameras and needing to possibly spend unknown amount of money on my car, I was just like, you know, I do really kind of want the Zoya holiday collection, but that'll still be there. I mean... I, I can get that for uh, Earth Day. There, there's there's no reason in the world that I need to have that right now. So I really, uh, like, I, I had a bunch of stuff. I was like, oh, Zoya's got this and such and such has this. And, you know, what's up nails? And, you know, then I'm like, well, look at all these nail vinyls that I have not used that I bought probably almost a year ago. I do not need to stock up on more nail vinyls just because they're on sale. Especially after I like forced myself to go and look, I was like, oh, the ones that I actually want are ones that m for the most part I already have. So guess what? You don't need to buy anymore. Yeah, I was, I, I was going to do a, a, a cooking mat. I would like a smaller, um, I think that, God, what is it called? I think what's up sells it. It's not bliss kiss. It's the other one. Um, uh, I don't think it's what's up branded. Somebody probably can, can say in chat. It's a slightly smaller one. So it's like, I thought that it would be better for, um, certain techniques where you see people and they like smoosh it together. Cause the, the, the miracle mat is pretty large. I mean, I'd say it's maybe as almost as large as two sheets of paper next to each other. I don't know if that's a good example. Maybe not quite that big, but like, yeah, if you opened up a whole magazine it's a little bit big to be folding up and like the lids that I have are for the most part uh, a little bit stiffer plus they have the lips so they're not ideal for folding either. Um, yeah, the raised circle bits are cool. They're handy. I like that color too, Amethyst. I kind of want to use it now that I found it. Mm, all pixie dust. I do love pixie dusts. I would be tempted to throw a pixie dust in here except I know they're a very pain in the ass to water marble if they will do it at all. <clears throat> no Zoya's left on your wish list. Got them all on Earth Day. That's the time to do it, Musical. Um, sometimes, if, if I'm really good, sometimes Earth Day is my only Zoya haul of the whole year, but a lot of the times it's like, you don't need more than one a year getting all that. Yeah, and it's, it's, I can, I don't really have anywhere to go. I mean, I've needed to go to the store for like a week, but it's not like I'm starving. I mean, there's, there's stuff here. I'm just out of orange juice and stuff. And yeah, like the back streets 
and our alley in particular gets really, really slick. It's hilly. And our, our actually, the, the alley is hilly, and up to our driveway is also hilly. <clears throat> Move to SoCal before you were old enough to deal with it instead of playing with it. <clears throat> 16 by 12. So I, I'm actually almost right, because paper's 8.5 by 11. That's good. I'm not completely <laughs> off on my uh, estimating skills. <laughs> One of the cat. I could just see him sitting there like... <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I thought about I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like messing around with my nails. You don't shovel your driveway. You have a Jeep so you're, Yeah. Yeah, I mean when it when the all wheel drive is working, God, my car freaking goes through anything. I swear it's such a nice change. I'm sorry, Bean, that was kinda loud. It's such a nice change from other other vehicles that I've had. Um, but yeah, it's like I got a. It, it's not. It's got an alert light on, and the light doesn't actually tell them what's wrong. And I think that's dumb. But basically, I gotta have go through all the. Um, technician inspection shit before I can even figure out if it's covered by my extended warranty or not. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, they, they plow that ridge of hard... There! No. Yes. No. Damn it. I mean, I guess you kind of work, but you're not... <sighs> I'm looking for Freya. Because if I recall correctly, Freya is a slightly purple leaning metallic gray. What is this? This, I mean, this is pretty too. And this is like a purpley silver. This is Troy. That's not what I was looking for, but that's, that's interesting. That could possibly be included. I'm surprised Beanie doesn't seem to mind this sound at all. It's like, and he's like, what? I'm comfy. I don't even care about that sound. Man, where is it? Wait, is this it? I went right by it. I went right by it before. <sighs> this is Freya. <clears throat> that is what I was looking for. I literally, that's where, like, that whole first selection came from. I went right by it. It was right where I thought it was. I just didn't pay the proper attention. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hi, caters. <laughs> the baby's styling, so it's all good. <clears throat> Yeah. Hey Barbie. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, so I'm I'm very pleased with this selection. I think there some something here, you know, so, somewhere in all this, we we've, we've got a solution to day 1 and 2. So that that only took an hour. <laughs> Not everything is going to go like this. I mean, the uh, the ombre stained glass, that's color paints and all the, well, I mean, 
the, the trick will be finding where I have them. I think they're over here uh, in boxes because I've used them fairly recently. They they usually tend to stick all together. Um, so if I find one, I found the whole the whole set. Um, some of these, like the uh, the gel one, that that shouldn't. I mean, I maybe need to do a test of that, but that sh I think that should all work out as I have it imagined. So, let's, uh, oh, we've got that out too. You guys want to know the names on these? I kind of pulled those juleps up and put them right back away, but I mean, we saw, we saw all those last week anyway. What the, dang it. Hold on, please. Don't know when I did that exactly, but it's directly in my field of vision. <clears throat> yeah we were we were <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoy hanging out even when I'm just rambling and digging through drawers oh yeah that would be pretty too sunburned I, I can like picture that right now it's it's kind of hard to itch my head through this scarf. Oh wait, there's like a like a little seam. <laughs> a conspiracy theory video on unicorns. <laughs> what is wrong with Crayola? They made a bath bomb that is blue and red mixed together. Crayola. I was like, wait, Crayola like crayons <laughs> plus blue and red are supposed to make purple why why would it make reddish brown wait is it actually cray crayola is it crayola or crayola i'm like is it crayola like crayons or is it crayola like a brand of bath bombs i've never heard of because i don't take baths because our bathtub is not comfy <laughs> Yeah, sunburnt. Uh, they they have a couple other ones too. I'm I'm not fully set on that one because in my small collection I also have. Let's see if I can if I can get this to show up. Where? Okay, maybe this will work. nope there there can, can you see <laughs> i'm so sorry you guys i feel like a fool when i'm trying to show these things off like trying to get just that little hint of a shadow so you can see the outline it's like multi-sized diamonds i think that would also work for stained glass or uh i have one other that kind of reminds me of stained glass i thought I thought I did. What was it? Now I'm confused. No. No, apparently I did not. Hmm. Maybe I'm just thinking, I was thinking about doing... See, these show up so much nicer on the camera. You can literally just see the whole design. I was thinking about doing my ombre idea with, with these like splashy things. But I liked the, the stained glass idea a little bit better. But I think these squares could could pass for stained glass. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, yo. Or do, I mean, <laughs> I say, just do freehand stained glass. Like, oh, just, just go ahead and do it. <laughs> but... It, it's something I've wanted to revisit. I did it um, like quite a lot of years ago. Um, a lot of you guys probably remember. A lot of you guys, you guys are like my hardcore people. Um, with with the Orly glitters, and it was like a bunch of different glitters, but I only did like, oh, let's get this out of here. I only did like five panels on my nails. I would like to try and do it with some smaller panels and with more of a consistent finish. 
<clears throat> those OPI ones, uh, I forget what the collection's called, but you know those recent sheer pretty gl- glittery ones? I bet those would be fun to do like a stained glass look. I've, I've resisted on those so far too. I really, I have not bought much polish lately. I feel like I really, not that I have too much. Like if you, if you want to like <laughs> gift me polish like JJ did, or if you want to like, you know, I'm, I'm still, I'm still a, a nail polish addict, but I just feel personally a little bit, not guilty exactly, but it's like, ugh, I need to organize what I have before I get more. And you would think just that would be my incentive to get organized so I could get more. But, uh, so far, not so good. It's really fluffy and pretty and horrible, you guys. I wonder if I can get one of my cams out the window. Do you want to see? <laughs> it's just building up out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, amethyst. Um, Crayola does have a polish uh, collab with Sally Hansen. In fact, they have some new colors coming out. Like the first ones were creams. The new ones are still kind of crayon colors, but they're uh, more metallic. Put in your carpet and purchase. Wait, what? One third more time? I missed something. Grow a third eye. Oh, a third more time. That's what I saw. A third more time to put put on makeup. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my stomach. If you heard that. Sometimes I'm never sure, like how much the how much the mic picks up. Like when I go over there, can you guys still hear me? I talk to you like you can still hear me, and I kind of assume that you do, but I don't go back and watch my whole video. But yeah, you still do, and that's good, sunburned, because. Perfection just makes shit not happen. Enthusiast versus addict. I like that, musical. I'm a nail polish enthusiast. Thank you very much. I'm an enthusiast. I don't know what accent that was supposed to be. <laughs> oh, before you buy stuff. Oh. Hi, Big Bad Mom donated about a fourth of it i think that's really cool too because the people that receive that i can just imagine how excited they are a big jewel on your third eye <clears throat> yep we can you can at least okay good God. okay i am i am gonna try and show you guys this let's uh well, will beans, will beans reach? That might be easiest. Ooh, give me a little bit of more slack here, camera. It's kind of hard. Excuse the tape on my screen. That's like the little cut I make for my air conditioner to go out, but it's a little bit hard. You can't really see the falling snowflakes, but I think you can see like it looks hazy when you look across the street and that's cause it's snowing and, uh, building up. Like you can kind of still see the peak of the roof, but it's building up on the, on the all around. And yeah, the roads covered and all that good stuff. Bean cam turned into snow cam. <clears throat> mm. I think that would be cool, sunburned. It makes her like, oh, your niece. Yeah, man, just the just donate them in a couple. I'd say sixty, two or three plastic shoe boxes would be my like a, uh, because of course I have shoe boxes like throughout my room. So like, this size plastic shoe box. I'd say two or three of those. And I mean, they don't take up much room. They're shoebox size. They're a dollar at like Target or dollar store. 
And then when she gets older and you keep giving her nail polish, then when she's like a teenager, then you buy her a Helmer <laughs> for her birthday. Get comfy, Bean. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, the flakes are really, and it's coming down heavier now. Like, the flakes are, like, thick. T-H-I-C-C, twitch thick. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, bean bean cam is superior, but yeah, he'll he'll go out in it. He doesn't hate the snow. He hates it when it gets super cold, but he'll go out in the snow. And Clark, who originally is from like uh, Georgia, if I recall, before the Humane Society got him and we adopted him, loves the snow. He is adorable in the snow. And he likes he likes just looking out the window and watching it too. But like right now he's pretty comfy, and you can kind of see here, like his little bald spot. But you see how it looks like darker than it did. His fur is starting to grow back in. I'm so happy. It's like probably not even a quarter of an inch thick yet. But that's why it's not so pale anymore. His fur is is starting to grow back in really well. Not looking forward to snow. Yeah. Yeah, that's the sucky part when it's like melty, freezy crap and then the roads are just screwed for like the whole season. <clears throat> yeah, I remember you mentioned that, son. <clears throat> yeah, we, I mean, the Christmas lights are a wonderful thing. I th Oops, sorry, you guys. Um, A lot of years we'll go and do like a little drive around see check out christmas lights um so let me see how do i want to organize i'm sorry let's actually raise this up just a little bit i might have to adjust the focus because it is on manual focus <clears throat> no but let, let's see if that keeps me from from hitting it probably not um i'm just kind of vaguely trying to organize these and we're gonna we're gonna do a couple swatches we're gonna pick the colors we think we would like best for the uh, for the nail art. I, I don't think this one really goes. I mean, with with all the other purpley stuff, it's it's more of a almost green gray. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This was a uh, tris. Well, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna set it to the side. Let's uh. Let's actually take an empty shoebox and we'll just put everything that we're testing or maybeing or just not having on the desk in there. Yeah, I, it, it, to my eye, it's greener or almost a little golder rather than like purpley and silver. It, it's weird to say that a gray or a silver is gold, but more warmer toned. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, he might. I mean, he does get chilly all the time. He like he likes to get burrito in the bed. Or the reason the blanket is actually like over the back of the chair is so that if he really wants to get snuggly, we just take and we just tuck him in like that. And then he's cozy. We got co we got a cozy bean now. He lo I mean, he, you see, he didn't even budge. Like some cats, I'm sure would be like, "What the fuck, human? Get the shit off of me." Beanie loves being in a blanket. <clears throat> like Goose Town. Yeah. Yeah, March. Oh, I can only imagine. That's the kind that gets really wet. <laughs> Free cocoa and cookies. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then maybe like... Okay swatches what is today today is the first 12 1 18 um 12 days of christmas nail art uh, days one and two lavender gradient plus branches 
Oops. <clears throat> okay. We've got... And I should probably be careful shaking these, but... I mean, it's testing, so it's not that big of a deal. Bubbles get in there when you shake it. If you're going to do your nails, like, let it sit. Let the bubbles settle out. This is Janessa. Really sparkly white. That, that actually might be the snow, if we can get that to, to marble properly. Ooh, this feels thin. Just from, I mean, you can hear how easily the, the beads are going in there. Uh, this is Serafina. And this is another one. You could tell, like, this... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know what to call it. Degradation on the label. Like, that's where the label is starting to come loose. And this is like a very light gray. These are all kind of shimmery. Well, you can see that. It is a little bit thinner. That might that might marble well though. <laughs> Thank you, son. <clears throat> Oops. So much ambition and has hindered you from getting laundry done, but you must have got something else done. No, Janessa's very it's very opaque. Peyton. Thank you. Where? Why didn't I hear? Why didn't I? Did you guys get to hear a sound for that? Do I not do? S thank, thank you for the bits, Peyton. I'm just trying to figure. I mean, I saw the alert go off. I saw it in chat. I didn't hear the alert go off. Got to do a grocery run. All right. Have a good day, Momo. Not on the Miracle Mat. Did it lift off the the words musicale? Oh, it's actually trying to bond to the mat? <gasps> okay, you guys heard it, but I didn't hear it. Wonder my headphones aren't Or I heard it and I'm just a complete idiot. Or I or you know what? Let's do this. I'm just going to test this to see if I can hear it now. There we go. Thank you again, Peyton. I, uh, I just had my volume really, really low on my computer. I was doing some stuff earlier where it didn't seem to... I mean, I could still hear stuff, but I, that's, my, my alerts are not hugely loud, so that's, that's what it was. No, it's not hugely important. Still sounds good and important. Something you wanted to do and got it done. I mean, I'm assuming you still have clothes to wear. I mean, laundry's important, but laundry can usually wait. Too slidey, so you kind of pushed it, and then it wouldn't let go. Weird. That's so weird, music girl. I mean, well, of course, I mean, I don't know. What is Silly Putty made of? Um, this is, oh, this must be Trixie. Trixie with no label, because we got to put her label back on. I did not know that. I remember I, at one point, used it on my desk. And, I mean, I think you guys have maybe glimpsed my desk once or twice without the mat on it. And it's like a fucking disaster. And it's got, you know, it's worn. It's got nail polish stuck on it. And like when I peeled it off my desk, it was like part of the desk also peeled away. And I was like, oh, that's not great. <laughs> it's like, it's a good idea, but it's like asterisk, except in the following situations. This is Harley. This is one of my mom's favorite Zoya colors, I do believe. Kind of just the type of kind of neutral but still unique weird color that she likes i think i would really like that in the in the background gradient so we got we got the, basically what we're looking for here the color the colors we're looking for our preference on two to four colors for the background gradient lavender to gray a color for the branches and a color for the snow that will cover the branches some kind of polymer. 
Li- liquid silicone. You know, I could see that. Because, like, when you get, like, that shit you pull off your Simply Peel brush, it's, it's very similar to Silly Putty. I, I could... I don't know why that's surprising to me. I mean, I guess it's not surprising to me. I didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly, Sparkly. <clears throat> <laughs> See... You're you're just okay enough, Amethyst. As long it's not a disaster, everything is fine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like I'm like laughing. The whole the whole world is shaking. Thank you guys so much for cheering me up. Um, let's see what else we got here. Probably maybe I should do. Yeah, let's go. Let's go around into these. See that the, one of the things with Harley is it's uh it's deceptive to the bottle color you can you can already see how much darker it is on the on the paper and it's not even fully dry yet uh compared to how it mostly looks in the bottle i mean you see some hints of that darkness but the bottle is a lot lighter than the swatch <laughs> which i mean it is oh god it's just i'm tempted to like close my curtain because every time i look out there it's just like Snowflake, 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 snow. <laughs> like they keep getting bigger and bigger. This is uh, Julie. <clears throat> See, and that's more lavendery. See, I would like if if Harley was the color it was in the bottle, I think I would like those two together for the background. Like, I, I definitely like this purple. I was thinking creams for the background, but this does have a little bit of a of a shimmer to it. I, but I really very much... Of course, maybe I can find, like, a middle-y... I was thinking, like, lavender, medium gray, light gray. But maybe I can do lavender, light gray, medium gray? Like... Like, imagine, I mean, it's not exactly, but again, anybody that's just joining us. Come, come here, camera. <laughs> Hope I don't pull it so hard I unplug it. This sort of a vibe. See those, those snow-covered tree branches? <laughs> in, in, in like, probably like half an hour, I should remember to do this again so you guys can see it as it starts getting dark out there. That's what's in my head. Falling snow, snowy tree branches, getting dark but not dark so the sky has that, you know, ombre gradient sunset. Well, it's not going to be a sunset though because it's fucking cloudy. But, uh, you know, silly cone. <laughs> He's a cow. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's so bad. <clears throat> I'm officially turning off your brain right now. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. This this is the lavender I had pretty much in my head, except in my head it was not sparkly. But that's fine. This is also... I mean, we might end up going purpler than I thought on the background because this is also like a great color. Although this is, this is darker. Than, of course, like I said, we might artistic license and go with some purple branches or something. This is lotus. It's also got a little bit of a shimmer to it. See how dark it is? Oh, it's so nice, though. Such a nice purple. Maybe I should... Mm, I don't... Well... See, like, what if I did, like... You know, toward the cuticle middle tip? I, I think I would still need a lighter gray to mix. I feel like these two would be good but I would I wouldn't want a lot of this dark on the nail because I feel like it would take away from the darkness of the branches I want the gradient gradient to be a medium tone and then the branches to be a very dark and a very light value probably or a very dark and a very sparkly value excuse me if that makes sense if I go with the idea of like sparkly sparkly snow excuse me I'm just like burping I don't know why. Well, maybe because I'm sniffling. I'm like swallowing air. I don't know. 
apparently, perhaps I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold, sneezing and I'm not chilly, but I'm going to put on my hoodie. <clears throat> of course, it also, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't have to be a gradient in the background. I just feel like that. I always feel like if it, if a design, I, if I'm picturing a design, I'm like, oh, that's simple and, and kind of boring. Like, I feel like just adding a gradient in the background is an easy, well, rel relatively easy way to, like, make it a little bit more interesting design. Let's also, this is, uh, this is Troy. Yeah, see, especially on camera, that's looking really, really dark. It's, it's not, it's not quite as dark as, okay, this, this is not working. I, I suck at this. I suck at trying to cover up the white to show you guys the actual color. And I'm forgetting the lesson that I've learned, which is just zoom in, and sometimes then it's easier. It's just... No. In fact, you barely can tell that's purple. Oh, I did. I got some on my finger. It is purple. And it's not quite that dark. This, this uh, Troy is also pretty dark. It's more metallic. Whoa, that was a little bit too much. See, like that would make a good branch too. See, that's interesting. How, like how the camera deals with glitter and how it deals with light reflection. Like the glitter in this actually makes it almost look lighter than the one next to it. It's actually darker, but it's metallic. <clears throat> that's, what I, that's what I'm here for is to interpret the polish for you guys so I can tell you how how the camera is, is lying to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's the same thing as, like, drawings, too. Like, uh, Moon Bandit was working on a new emote for Jerry the other day, and it was, it was like, freaking awesome because she just, like, went from concept to, like, the whole thing so quickly. And she did, like, a sketch, and then she did, like, a picture with just color, and then she did a, the, that picture with, like, the shading and stuff. And it was just, like, so freaking cool. Okay, here we go. This is Freya, and this is another one. You can see the... I'm, I'm not lying, you guys. Every time I look out there, I'm just like, how much bigger are these snowflakes going to get? This is the one that I spent so much time looking for wonder if I'll ever if I'll actually even end up using it I mean you see it's just I mean it's a very nice um it's it's in the tone of gray that I want but unless I use it for the branches I don't think it has a home in this manicure and right now I mean I'm not I can't say I'm really leaning that direction for the branches because I mean we've got some other some other options here mystical nail polish interpreter mm. yeah yeah amethyst these reverse these two <clears throat> if you turn off your brain anymore you'll fall asleep i can i can feel that <laughs> Sometimes I think that's what ha what happens to me certain times of the day. It's like my brain is just like, nope. It's like you're not really tired, but you're like in a completely zoned out state where it's just like, not not home right now. Sorry. Uh, this is Genevieve, and uh, this is this is actually yeah, this is the first actual cream we're dealing with here. I mean Harley is oh, this is very dark. This is darker than it looks in the bottle, and it's kind of watery. You see how when I when I stroke through there, is it showing up on camera? You can almost see the paper underneath. You can see it's like not fully opaque. I mean, you can make it opaque. That would also have been a contender for the branches, but I don't like it as well. Um, what do I want to? Okay, here's Kelly. Coffee. Well, you guys know what I think about coffee. 
nasty and pointless. See, these two are very similar. I'd say Kelly's a little bit more opaque and a little bit less blue. Is that there's fucking camera. Even if I get in close, I bet you guys are not going to be able to. Well, it it's barely, barely showing on camera the difference between these two. My, oh, I don't have my, I have my, my white balance is still on auto too. That's probably also partly messing with it. But like this one is just slightly, slightly more blue. This, this one would be more in line with the purple color story. I think. Well, that's, uh, yeah, probably, I, I can safely say I think all three of these are not getting used, all, all these three. So let's banish them to the box. What do we have here? Petra. This is another one I recall my mom quite liking. And another one where you can see the weird... I mean, it's pros and cons. It must be some kind of reaction between, I don't know what, the outgassing of the non-slip things and whatever particular glue Zoya uses. Because not all bottles with the label on the bottom have this problem. I'm so, I need to just keep my attention here and quit looking out the window. <clears throat> but like my China Glaze and my OPI do not have labels falling off at the rate that my Zoya bottles do. And they're, they're in the same drawers. I mean, literally, in the case of my, my older collection, the drawers are by color. They're in the same drawers. The Zoya labels are falling off. The other labels are not. So, And probably Zoya's glue is like vegan, special, 18 free glue. Because <laughs> what, what does Zoya promote as now? 10 free? I can't even keep up with it, you guys. Remember when nail polish was just full of every horrible chemical in the world? Then it was three free. Then it was four free. Then it was five free. Then it was seven free. Now it's like fucking 18 billion free. I mean, it's great. It, it's, you know, chemicals are not good for you and whatever. But like, yeah, <laughs> it's like you're just making shit up now. It's like when when uh, food companies repackage stuff and it's like, oh, you know, simple, only five ingredients. You only had five ingredients before. You didn't change anything. It's a gimmick. And I don't think it's fully gimmicky. I mean, they are, you know, removing various chemicals. But at a certain point, it's like, okay, already just like, <laughs> I don't know. And in some cases, it's like my aunt, she's always like, this new polish just never wears as well. Give me the polish with those good old chemicals in it. <laughs> yeah yeah bottles of air or that water based nail polish which is always like gnarly but like I mean I, I you know healthy nail polish is great and especially like you know they like say for pregnant people or stuff like that but and maybe I should wear more because I probably do my nails more than average people but my, my whole thing was because Zoya's on that sort of a that's that's part of their brand image. I bet they do use a different glue for their labels than other brands. I mean, apparent obviously apparently they do. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this one. I take out the Oh, you can't see the sparkles. There's sparkles in there, you guys. Oh, it's looking so so berry on here. You almost if I if I paint it sheerly. Oh, damn it. If I paint it sheerly, I think you guys can almost see the sparkles. Almost, but not quite. It's fairly easy to build up a little bit. This is a matte velvet formula, by the way. I love that color so much, but it doesn't go with what we're trying to do here. I'm going to leave it out just in case I decide to do my nails. We're also, we're not going to use Petra. So... This hole from these are all next new. These I really like. 
Yes. And one of these then would be snow. Oops. We're zoomed in a little bit much, aren't we? Let's get out a notch. <clears throat> I know, sparkly. And it's like you, you pick them up and you shake them and you're like, oh, it's still thin. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, God, I need to switch. The thing is, oh, I, I know what part of the problem is. Let's, uh, yeah, hold on. Let's move my slippers over here, and then I can move my footrest over here. And then uh, I can fit my legs under my desk without touching the desk, so now if I laugh, ha, ha, ha. Well, that was maybe not a not enough of a laugh but I should jostle the desk slightly less without my footrest under there kind of was kind of forgotten I had recently put that back under there because I had been missing it yes I love that purple but not for this these four plus one of these I think is what I want that that seems sketchy on its own sunburn doesn't it now it's like you're suspicious um, okay, so let's get uh, one moment. Because over here is the water. Oh, this actually still. I hope this water is warm enough. It's been in here for like four hours. Three hours? Four hours. But the cup actually felt cool. It was over on my bookshelf because I don't like just having a big old full cup of water on my desk. Excuse me. <clears throat> Definitely feels a little bit cold. What is it in here? 74. Water marbling in winter does make me nervous sometimes because, I mean, it's best when it's warm. It's that kind of snow. I'm not even gonna be able to see it much longer. It's getting stuck in my screen because it's windy and because it's fluffy and because it's thick. <clears throat> so, okay, we've got a couple, how many? Let's let's fold up at least three. We might not need three quite yet, but we're good. I mean, we're gonna be needing lots of, lots of test strips as we test 12 days of Christmas. So, Oh, let's just fold this up. And sometimes I'm surprised by like how evenly I fold most of my... Do I have the last set of test strips? Because once the test strips are all dried... In fact, I should... What am I using this for? Yeah. should get a lid ready. Um, I staple them together. And I keep them. I mean, I don't like just throw them away. I mean, I could, but why would you? Um, and they're all like the same width. Like I don't measure it or anything. I just eyeball it. The hot cocoa and M&Ms are disappointing. Oh no. <laughs> Sparkly. No, I know what you mean. It's like they taste more like sugar than like chocolate or like cocoa. Like it, it tastes more like sugar than like the flavor it's supposed to taste like. And you can use whatever you want for testing water marbles. I mean, a lot of people use fake nails. I prefer something a little larger because it lets you like examine more of the of the pattern. I mean, ideally, if I was, like, super patient and had, like, a bunch of cups, the way to go would be, like, each design, just sit it and leave it, let it dry in the cup, and lift out the whole thing and stick it in my polished sketchbook. But that's not what we're doing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Almost done. But, yeah, like, a little piece of cardboard or a little piece of paper ripped off a notepad I fold these up not just so that they fit in the cup better but because 
just a piece of paper. I mean, just this receipt paper is like, you know, very thin. Kind of like we talked about with the polished sketchbook, how we, how it has the uh, what what exactly weight paper is this? I've I've told you guys before. I I'm pretty sure I added this to my my nail art supplies uh, Amazon list also. Sixty five pound paper. I don't know what regular like printer paper is pound weight uh but you know it's definitely a little heftier because this is not only getting nail polish on it it's getting wet so you need it to be a little bit sturdier than just a piece of paper or you're gonna have a heck of a time i think partly too like the way that i fold them like i fold them so that there's like this section here and this section here i think that gives it a little bit of sturdiness because the main problem you're going to run into if you just use like a piece of paper is it's just going to try and dip it in the cup and it's going to go limp. Like with this, a lot of times I have, I can grip it by both sides when I dip it in there if I need to. Sometimes if I, if I make the tail long enough, you can even like, you know, kind of grab it like that and dip it in. And then once they dry out, I mean, they get pretty, pretty stiff again. I mean, they don't obviously stay limp. Context. <laughs> <clears throat> the the candy I think I was most disappointed in most recently look it's right here I'll show you guys Reese's minis that are supposedly to have this little crunchy chocolatey bit in the bottom there's like two or three of those in each little cup okay like you, can, you, if you like bite it in half and like look, maybe you could see a couple. But I felt like the picture was so misleading. I mean, obviously they're delicious anyways, except for the fact that when I went to see Grandma yesterday, she she always has a little candy dish out, and she had some bomb ass peanut butter cups in there. Like, obviously not Reese Pieces cups. Uh, like this creamy, delicious peanut butter and a really good high quality chocolate. It, it's happened you guys what what have we been streaming for an hour and 37 minutes in we're on food <laughs> all right let's get a napkin let's get a uh, let's get a uh, blah, 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 blah. what is the damn thing called fuck orange stick and let's get some acetone this one's kind of dirty, but that's fine. Maybe we'll bust out a new one for the first tutorial. Well, I guess it'll be the second tutorial because it'll be day two. Day one, like I mentioned. Day one will be the nail art. Odd number days will be the nail art. Even numbered days will be the uh, water marbles. Maybe I should say traditional or freehand nail art. Well, gradients aren't really freehand exactly. The non marbling art the winter nail art wonderland that's not enough syllables it doesn't like you know the song that's what i like in my head like sing it somebody say food we have summoned jerry <laughs> yeah <clears throat> welcome jerry i uh I hope your day is going well. We are we are doing some testing, and uh, where'd my swatches go? Okay, so we want to try you 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 you. And what do we think would be our best bet for the snow, you guys? I mean, what would be our preference? We I mean, we want to start with our preference. I'm I'm thinking probably probably Janessa. Cause it's the lightest one the other two are also light yeah we'll, we'll hope Janessa works <clears throat> wait show again please what the candy musical hmm? Stuffed with crunch. <laughs> Crunchy cookies. 
Yeah, they're like, uh, here, hold on. I think they were for Halloween, which just goes to show. I mean, they've they've been hanging around in my candy drawer more than a month. Juju Babs, thank you for the follow. Of course, I have just a couple little bit of candy corn left in here too, but that's like almost almost gone. That won't that won't stay the candy drawer. I mean, that's gonna be a nail polish drawer eventually. I don't I don't need a candy drawer literally within hand's reach. I don't even need to say arms reach because it's not like I got a reach. It's literally right here. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Um, <laughs> outside barbecue. It must not be quite so cold down there, Jerry. Poor Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Jer Jerry's here, you guys. Jerry. Are, are you sitting down, Jerry? Are you, are you sitting down, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> this is the snow piling up outside my window <laughs> coming down out of the sky getting on the tree branches and inspiring me <laughs> hmm. so cold out that Bean had to Bean had to wrap all up and get cozy in his blankie <laughs> You were looking away the first time, yeah. Every time I look out there, well, now the flakes actually are a little bit smaller. Set, settling down a little bit now. We'll see. I have no idea how long it's supposed to keep going. I mean, I didn't plan on going anywhere today or tomorrow, so I honestly, like, kind of knew it was supposed to snow, but, like, I don't know how much we're supposed to get. <laughs> yeah, he is a bean burrito. Sometimes he even gets in there a little bit more. I don't have as, quite as much slack right now. Yeah, you so cozy. He's he's completely asleep, you guys. <laughs> asleep and planning to stay that way. All right, so we've got that's that's maybe about like that. Is this yeah. Okay, so we've got five colors that we're going to be attempting to marble with. <clears throat> and uh like if if there if there were rng like in video games this would be like the moment of rng like where we gotta pray sunny and 75 it's not freezing cold out um i think it's kind of like yesterday which was actually i don't want to say nice because i mean i know it's not nice but not where you go out and you're like you feel like your face is just attacked by coldness and your skin like shrinks because it's so dry. Yesterday was okay. <clears throat> but sunny, sunny and 75 would be better. Yeah, so you're at least prepared for it. I know what you mean, sunburnt. Okay. So I think we'll do at least two tests of these five colors. Um, hopefully either or both go well. My, my usual thing is pick some colors, try them one direction, then the other direction, and see how it goes. Wait, is that what it's actually called? WT fork? I mean, I, I read it, I see it's what the forecast, but I read it as what the fuck forecast. <laughs> Go home, Mother Nature, you're drunk. Oh yeah, 42 is a horrible temperature for rain because the rain is so cold. Okay, let's, uh, several of these, in fact, all of these actually are slightly shimmery, which makes marbling riskier, which makes them maybe not play nice together. It's Harley holding things up. Harley is this really wide ring. You going to spread here? Oop, are you powerful enough to push everybody else? Not quite. I mean, like, if we do another set of rings here, is Harley strong enough to push everything out? 
see this this is the problem and it's slightly starting to dry see that's part of the problem okay let's pull this all out and start over let's go in the other direction <laughs> hell yeah amethyst I know you said you've really been struggling to get them to to do that and I mean you know obviously it's important to get the full dose that's great kind of like kind of like with cats like please you can have this wonderful treat if you'll just take your damn medicine okay harley play nice play nice you see how hard it pushes harley might be the, the main problem here harley might be the only problem here see now watch watch this And can you see, you see how this is like overlapping and blending here? That's, you know, when you end up with really weird, blurry, messy, marbly things happening. Kitten Katie, thank you for the follow. It's a cute name. Um, like the colors weren't spreading, so they kind of stacked up on each other. They didn't, they didn't spread properly. And then we got one that was pushy. But it ended up kind of overlapping and doing weird stuff. I think we're going to have to take out Harley. <clears throat> of course, what if we... Let's Okay, let's try this one more time before we fully kick Harley. Because actually, I was... Yeah. I, I don't know that this will make a difference. When you're using... Okay, so when you're using this many colors together like if you're just using three colors you go one way you go the other way you have basically covered all your options the more colors you add the more different order options you're gonna have and sometimes you can kind of already tell that maybe it's not gonna work but I do kind of want to check and see how Harley reacts if I switch him where he'd actually be in the gradient because like I said Harley is much darker swatch than he is in the bottle she is, they are, it is, I, whatever. Polishes don't even have gender. Why am I, why am I making this a thing? <laughs> um, I think starting with the darker one was a little bit better. So let's start with that. Give you a spread. Then do you. Here's Harley. And then this one. See, they're spreading better than the other ones. Oh, that's really hard to see on camera. See if we keep going. I don't want to like pause too long in the middle. Harley is still though, like such a big old fat ring there until you get back around to him. And then you've got this, this pile of polish in the center. And again, it starts to spread out. See this time it's going a little bit more evenly, but this is, this is not an ideal bullseye to to try and do anything with you might be able to help it a little bit by trying to stretch it out but even then you see how this is not a smooth uh lines like here we got lavender we got dark and here it's muddy between the darker and the harley <laughs> excuse me um like it's not it's not always a problem but that is a problem that's more likely to happen when you're using polishes that are slightly different finishes and that like I said have that uneven uh spreading tension so okay this time we actually are going to remove Harley sorry <laughs> Jerry's here did I add did I add Harley to my FFZ that's Harley. 
That's Jerry's puppy. Well, old man puppy. Grown up puppy. <laughs> okay. And I I don't know. We'll we'll see how this looks. I mean, we we went and again, of course, I'm in this thing where I'm using all Zoyas. Of course, I could go on another brand and try to find a replacement gray, but I think in this case, I might be more inclined to possibly still use Harley in the uh, nail art and just leave him out of the water marble without just trying to find a replacement color altogether. So let's see how this works this time. And yeah, so much, so much more even you guys. I mean, obviously. And I'm impressed with how well these are spreading for all of them being shimmers. Um, let's, we'll just do eight, this one. We're just going to draw in a flower. It draws pretty clean too. That's the other thing you got to kind of, oops, we do have a bald spot in the middle. You got to watch that. Sometimes with shimmers, uh, when you draw through, the line won't stay like real smooth and clean. It'll get kind of wiggly. But this is this is pretty clean. And they're they're pretty wet too. But do you see that little hole I left in the middle there? It's a fine line between leaving a goober and leaving a hole. Now, if you have more lines to draw, that's fine. But on your very final one, you want to make sure to be very careful. We probably even could get in another set of petals like this this is pretty you guys I'm gonna just be careful in the middle see I, I left a hole despite my best intentions of course if I'm not using the center of the flower that hole is okay um and, and when it leaves a hole, it's kind of to do with the, the elasticity of the polish in the water. Oh, I, I like that, you guys. Um, Like, if some of them want to spread, some will contract a little bit. Some will spread, but they don't want to contract. And if they don't want to contract, then when you dip out, it won't contract and fill the hole. You'll end up with just a hole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sunburnt. Yes. Sometimes, I, I'm pretty sure I have had a couple where I tried to get that effect intentionally. Which, of course, then, then it doesn't want to. Then it doesn't want to do it. I mean, I like... Okay. I mean, I, I consider this a win. Because this is working. As far as a base color, let's we'll do half of this with this dark one. And we'll do the other half with Janessa. And uh, might should I I might try twelve drops this time and just see how they if they get overloaded. Of course, I feel kind of like it would. I feel like I would like a couple more. Maybe just do. <laughs> two more drops so then we'd want to start in the middle if I want white in the middle which I think I probably do or do I want the darker one in the middle let's let's reverse it let's uh let's do 10 and reverse it so we'll start we'll start on this one the medium purple then the darker one and then back around to Janessa and the lavender medium dark and then one more round and see how this goes because it's possible this one is a little kinder with uh, that little hole in the middle that little bald spot I'm just waiting for it to finish 
spreading. You don't want to rush. You don't want to hurry. Um, was that the last one where the, the spread of the final drop was really affecting the final pattern? And sometimes it's hard to know or hard to tell, but you kind of do know from experience, like, uh, what your gut is telling you. Like, oh, you probably should wait for that. See, and that one is leaving a little bit of a hole, too. Maybe not quite as bad, but they both, they're, they're very similar finishes. So they are behaving very similarly. It's, it's tricky. And sometimes you can go back and, like, try to get it to grab and try to get it to contract, but sometimes then you just end up with more of a hole. What you really want to do is draw a couple more strokes toward the center, like that, which will create another goober like that, but then be just so careful pulling that goober out. Even there, left a hole. But like I said, that really only matters... I mean, part of it is you can clean up the whole design, like you can pull it in and clean up the pedals. Like if it were a kind that were to contract, that would have created a perfect centered flower. And I, I mean, obviously this is not playing that nicely, but if you're not worrying about the center, guess what? It doesn't matter. If you're not aiming that for your nail, if you're just going for the side pedals, it's perfectly fine. So now here, and again, we've got the darker, darker base color here, lighter base color here. Um, the white really basically just turns to a silver over the darker color. So I think I would want to stick with either white or Janessa itself as a, as a base. I'm not sure. I, I think I might kind of like the colors a little bit more in this order too. So can get these both on here without too much glare that's the problem when it's when it's still wet it's kind of hard to get without the glare sometimes I guess I think I do it's a little it gives more slightly of a gradient effect this way uh, the dark in the center kind of bleeding out to the lighter color I mean the lighter color does the same I mean it's like a lighter to darker instead of darker to lighter what I'm talking about from the center outwards um I've been, like, ignoring Chad. I'm just, like, sitting here completely rambling. I do apologize. Rambling and dropping dropping puppy emotes in chat. <laughs> um, you love this. Love the colors. Thank you, you guys. Yeah. And like I said, this is not going to be... Oh, it stopped. Oh, no, it didn't. Nah. This is not going to be, like, super, super, like, accurate to nature. I mean, that's not... It's not the point. It's the inspiration of the thing. And especially, like, I love non-traditional colored, like, winter scenes. Like, obviously, real life is not blue and silver, but check out, like, a blue and silver, uh, sort of like a landscape or, like, a Christmas card. Okay, so let's, um, is this, this is dirty. We can cut this, though. Um little sponge little old sponge it's from the uh from the burgundy gradient oops that was not a clean snip let's try that again i'm not gonna have much sponge left um it's enough though so we wanted to go with the middle section of purples for this so we've got um where's my pencil whoopsie daisy so, we're using Janessa, and we're using these three, well, these four. And Janessa will be snow, this darkest one will be branches, and these three will be gradient. Should I, I should, I should note these down just cause I'm going to have so many, I'm, I'm like I mentioned before, anybody's just joining us. I'm probably not starting recording the actual tutorials until Wednesday. So I probably should note the colors just in case. Uh, Janessa. G. 
Julie. Harley. Uh, Lotus. And Troy. And the middle ones are the gradient. Like Pixie Dust buy to get two to free. I mean, that's basically 50% off. That's. I The only Pixie Dusts I'm missing, though, I think are the newest ones from the Christmas collection. So I don't I don't know that I that there are even two other other ones. Of course no, were there some in the fall collection? I haven't I haven't bought any Zoya since Earth Day. I'm trying to remember what was in the fall collection and what was in the summer collection if those had any. I don't think those I feel like those did not have pixie dusts in them. I've got the nose itch percent going on. Okay, so we're we're not using Janessa right now. Let's close her. Janessa will be snow. We're not using Troy right now. Troy will be branches. We are using Harley right now. And Harley is going to go in the middle because as we saw when we swatched, Harley is much darker in the bottle. So we're, we're switching these two as far as like order on the gradient. <clears throat> yeah, I, I love the pixie dusts and like they're they're very unique and different like the idea of a matte glitter it sounds like an oxymoron but it is matte and shiny at the same time and it's not so gritty that it's impossible to get smooth i mean it's going to take a couple coats of a uh, top coat but you can get it smooth and they are without exception gorgeous with top coat as well so um okay gradient you guys you guys know what's up with this we're gonna slap some polish on a sponge we're gonna do a little bit of dab dab dabbing we're gonna see what happens here and I always try to do a little bit of overlapping on the sponge hopefully these are uh... see I need less of the dark purple and more of the more of the lavender because <clears throat> I don't want too much of, well of course even with we'll, we'll go with this we'll go with this for now we, we may adjust it on our nail a little bit more the thing is I don't want it to be so dark that it's like you can't see the branches but the color I'm using for the branches is both dark and metallic so it should hopefully it should hopefully be pretty easy to see so and these aren't so glittery like sometimes you'll have a shimmer a shimmer color and you go to sponge it and you sponge it down and every bit of shimmer sponges off on the first on the first dab because the shimmer like sits on top of the sponge you can you can kind of see see right here where those there's those couple little little glitters and i think this more porous sponge helps with that like if you have one of those uh more solid how do, i'm surprised that oh i do have one right here like these right where the where the glitter is really going to sit on the top i think that can cause more problems with sponging because it gets really hard to evenly distribute the the shimmer part of the polish and blend it to a nice gradient let's uh, in fact let's let's do this whole we'll kind of just treat this like a row and we'll just extend this gradient here oops so that we can then do a little bit of practice with the branches oh that's messy oh well no i should probably i'm just going to put my hand right directly in that if i don't clean it up this one too there we go um did i put some of this on maybe probably and the darker <clears throat> and actually i maybe should have been sponging these the opposite direction because of course maybe i do want them that way 
I was gonna say in my head darkest part was toward the cuticle but I mean when I'm looking at my nails like like this maybe I do want the darkest part toward the top decisions decisions and it's it's getting it's getting a little bit twilighty out there <coughs> we'll see we'll see if the sky cooperates and gives me a good gradient a good gradient opportunity to show you guys mm, but i i like how this is turning out it's a little bit different than i pictured i did not initially envision the background quite this dark um i think i mentioned earlier but if i'm like wrong and i didn't that that's a good enough example of these I'm pretty happy with that. I would want to get a little bit better of a gradient on my nail, but this works. Um, definitely not too much of the darkest purple. What I was thinking was like from the lavender color to the medium gray color with maybe uh, also a lighter gray to transition between them. So an overall lighter background without like that darkest of purples, but I do, I do like this. Oh, you know what I should get out right now, you guys? Excuse me. Okay, hold on. Well, again, not really. Um, where? Where? Oh, where? Here it is. No, that's not it. Oh, there it is. Don't fall. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Did I wake you? Did I wake you, handsome boy? You could go back to sleep. It's fine. Yawn. Oh, get that big old yawn. So, let's close these so I don't spill them. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it really it really depends because like I, I think this'll work. A part of me wants to like cling to my original visualization and, and go lighter, but I do like this. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. And I would like to like I would like if I were doing this on on my nail, I would like to, you know, most of this not have on the nail. Like mostly the lavender and the medium and that blended section maybe just a little bit of the dark like I don't want the dark to take over so sometimes when I'm struggling with nail art do you struggle with nail art no <laughs> um, I feel like it's because I don't have the appropriate tools and stuff so I was like I need I should buy some more brushes so I bought two brush sets I bought a kind of cheaper set and I bought a slightly more expensive set neither one was super expensive I think this one from uh, Beauty Galleria. Or is that Beaut Galleria? I think it's supposed to be Beauty. Beauté? Oops. Well, move that so when it comes back. Um, I think this was the cheaper one. And it came in this little pack. It's got the little things to like tie it shut. And we open it up. Is this right side up? Yeah. We open it up. Ooh. Okay, so we've got, oops, that's my other one. Oh, in these little pouches here, we've got some new nail art striping tape. I haven't bothered to take these out yet because like I don't obviously need it. But you can kind of see some of the colors. There's a lot. It's not just that pouch. It's also this pouch. And it's also this pouch. It's like a lot, a lot of different colors of uh, striping tape. And in fact, let me, uh, I'm not sure where Dr. Crotron is. He might be uh, doing his duties with Mrs. Dr. Crotron. He's streaming right now. Dr. Crotron. 
sneaky, sneaky boy. He's not supposed to stream until evening time on Saturdays. Sneaky, sneaky Dr. Crotron. <laughs> you didn't want to get him in trouble. I was going to say, plus, well, well, he, because yes, last night he tried to, uh, he tried to challenge me to a race. Can't race you if you're, if you're streaming at the same time as me. Okay. In case you guys want a closer look. I mean, I'm going to try and give you guys a good look. Uh, this is the one I'm showing you right now. There should be a crow sneak emote. Okay, so this this case, I don't know if I'll actually end up continuing to use this case because, I mean, it's kind of a hassle. But it's kind of nice if you want that option. I mean, it does keep your stuff, like, protected. This set, they do sell the brushes uh, separately. This particular set, I just, I just got it just to kind of get it. I don't need more dotting tools. But I liked this little dotting tool, which is not quite just a dot. It's like the little... What 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 word did they use? I, I don't remember exactly. And it's got a couple other ones, but it's, it's another set of dotting tools, basically. That's like this section of the... Uh... There, that, that's not too bad. That's like this first. We've got the, we've got the striping tape section. Then we've got the dotting tool section. Then we get into the, more of the brushes. So we've got one, two, five dotting tools. I forget how many does it say here? How many striping tapes came in here? A lot of striping tape, a shitload of striping tape. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 brushes, and then one long extra dotting tool. So. <clears throat> your son is giving you hollow night for christmas cool mm. oh no i thought oh i bet he's mad because i think that before he thought that a lot of the crashing was due to some kind of controller driver not working unless his controller was still plugged in even though he was running on keyboard i bet he's super pissed about that um so i'm just gonna pull these brushes out one by one i don't know what the real names are i'm not i'm not that pro um and then i'll show you the other set that i bought and then we're gonna practice some branches so i've got a fan brush and this to me the fan brush kind of shows more than any of the other brushes what I kind of consider the cheapness of the set. Cause do you see how it kind of is just straight across? Like, like the bristles compared to my other fan brush, which has like very much of an arc to it. But even though I feel like fan brushes are supposed to be more curved, I feel like this might actually be better for the nail. Cause your nails not curved with the fan brush. And the bristles, I mean, the bristles are smooth and soft. The bristles don't feel super gross or cheap or anything. Wait, which dot, which one? <laughs> Some of my dotting tools are, are very mauled and my orange sticks and stuff too. I don't know which one you glimpsed. Um, and these all have these little silly tubes on them that are supposed to protect the brussels and always end up getting lost and shit. So I've got these three, show, you, show them to you kind of in small batches. These three little detail brushes. Oh, that's almost impossible to see what these little plastic things are on. So we've got these three little detail brushes. That one's got some some stray hairs there already. But these are pretty small compared to... Where's my little goofy one? That was my one of my previous brushes, which has this little frayed, frayed tip. I think th this one is maybe closest. This middly, middly one. But these are all three pretty small. And then... Yeah, I don't know about these tubes. These tubes are silly. 
try to get these back in here. Um, we've got this one, which is like a tiny little chisel. Pretty small. Um, little small flat one. Um, this one's like a little, what is this, what is this shape called in brushes? Somebody, I mean, it's, it's, I, I want to say teardrop. I don't think that's right. Uh, that little guy. Then we've got some slightly larger, like flat ones. Some with, get off of there. Some like slant, some like a little bit straight, some slightly rounded. So we've got like these four. Where'd this one? Ah. <laughs> so they've got kind of like mostly the same size, but slightly different shape tips. Oops, get in there. Sometimes I find it really hard to like get the stuff back in there without like doing damage to the bristles that I'm supposed to be protecting against by putting them inside their little case. Cause it's tricky, tricky. Then, hold on, hold on. Oh, the bent up one, it's like that. This one. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like, I don't know, easier. I have another one like that, actually. It's a, lo a lot of sets have one that comes like that. <laughs> All right, then we've got this little round one, which stick a nail in there for comparison size sake. And then we've got a striper and a big one. This is like a medium sized striper. I have a striper that's longer than this, but this is pretty nice. It's pretty, it's pretty skinny and fine. So I appreciate that. And those ones, sometimes I do try a little harder to keep, keep hold of the little tube. And then we've got this big one. I think this is probably like for something to do with acrylics. I mean, that's, I probably would not, I can't think what I would need to brush that large for. So, and this whole set was under 20. How much? $17.99. So for all that stuff, and then the other one that I picked up, which I dropped here. Did I even open this? I didn't even open this when this came. Oh, let's get this out of here. Yeah, exactly, Sunburnt. It's like, well, all right, we'll just get in here like this. Oh. Um, oh, interesting. They, they all come in their own little vial. What the fuck? I ain't never seen no shit like this. Woo. <laughs> Couple of ends fell off. What the hell? So this is how they, man, no wonder you were expensiver, expensiver, more expensive. Cause you're all coming and eat your own little individual silly vial. Um, this is the other set I'm going to be showing you. Um, where's the other one that doesn't have its tip? This one. <laughs> oh no, this one also doesn't. Wait a minute here. Oh, that's the one this one came out of. <laughs> They're all in these little... And I like these because they had a couple different... Uh... Oh, this actually is... Okay, this is, it's not just this, this vial. This is, this is extra. This other half of the vial, so like the vial was on it. Actually, it's not the other half of the vial. This little thing, a couple of these fell off in the package, so you take it out. It's this inside. It almost looks like, like a pen or something. It's got some, some gorgeous blue and purple and little fancy things in the, in the handle here. But it actually, instead of those little silly plastic things that are difficult to get back on there and cheap it has a cap like a pen to protect the bristles so the problem that i would anticipate here i mean that's great it protects it but um 
how, how I'm supposed to know what's up in here. I'm going to have to like figure out like a way to label all these. I both think this is excellent and horrible at the same time. So here's this one. I'm just going to, I can't group them together because I just don't even know. And I feel like now these little vials, this is something come out of the, okay, let's take off this end. Okay. It's much easier one end than the other. These vials, okay, that just went into a black hole. These vials seem like something where you, well, me, I'd be like, oh, I could find something to use those for instead of just getting rid of them. Do not try to put the protective plastic tube on. Yeah, I mean, it's very frustrating. And the, and the little plastic things are... Uh, they're not sturdy. Like you get them on there and then they fall right back off. And I like this idea, but yeah, it's, it's attractive. It's nice. It looks nice, but I can't see. So what's in here? It's a mystery. Oh, it's a little slightly rounded little brush. This is weird. I didn't expect this. Does it show them with the caps on in any of the pictures? It doesn't. Huh? I mean, I, I kind of feel like it should show them with the caps in at least one of the pictures. What do we have here? Da -da 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 drum roll. Another little small brush. So, which was the other little small brush? So it's a little, it's smaller than that first one. Oops, it's smaller than the first one I showed you. This is the first one I showed you. Oops, almost pinched my finger in there. And then this is the other one. This is a nice small one. I like these brushes. I kind of feel like I'm 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 really having mixed feelings on these lids. We've got another one kind of in this shape. It's a little bit bigger than that last one. And and really what is the whole point of the of the test tube? Just to like that's extra packaging. Like, as, as much as I kind of, like, want to do something with them, some unknown thing. Oh, here we go. I don't know if I can make this work with regular polish, but this is one of the reasons that I decided to get this set. Um, it, like I said, it has some different brushes than the other set, and one of them is, is this. It's a gradient brush, which I generally see used with, uh, like, gel polish. You basically just put it on there, and then you like, I don't know. And I don't know if this is like a good gradient brush. I mean, it's, it's supposed to have like the thinner bristles at the tip. It's kind of hard to show. It's weird. You can kind of see. Like the, thin, the thinner bristles at the tip are the thing. I don't know. I'd like to mess around with that. That will probably not be happening during 12 Days of Christmas though. 12 Days of Christmas is uh, usually stressful enough without adding new techniques. I think this one is in between those other two that I showed you size wise um god I'm getting like this collection of, of tubes here we got a flat one I think this one it's a little wider than the one I have been using is this one I've been using it's not quite as long but it's a little bit wider than the one I have been using for uh scoop marbles and we've got two more here Uh, and I mean the caps are sturdy it's not like loose this is I mean you can kind of see I'm must have like a rubber little thing in there or something oh here's the smallest tiny little small brush let me grab my my current tiny small brush as comparison so it's actually a little bit shorter and I mean it's obviously in much better shape at least so far than mine um, then would this be, which one is this? Ah, the angled one. So this, this set did not have like a true long striper in it, but I think I like the, uh, the small detail brushes a little bit better than, uh, the ones in the other set. I don't know. I mean, I would like to just, oops, I don't know where that went. I guess these are all going in here. Pardon me would like to just like have a whole, let's play with brushes day. 
but uh, not right now. So, I, I really do like the way these look, though, with these little things in the handles. It's really pretty. So, let's keep out that one. No, not you. Where? This one. Not you. Dang it. Not you. Not you. Okay, I'm already sick of these caps. You. I'm like, oh, I'm so. <laughs> Look at you guys just saw my excitement. Oh my god. Label maker. Label maker. Okay, so. Um, do I want to use these or do I actually want like a longer striper? Well, I, I want to start with these. And, uh, do we have a lid? I got a used lid. Oh, you're dusty. Oh, uh, I started trying to clean off my lids. I didn't get very far. All right, we've got gradient. We've got a lid. We've got some, some brushes. I think I'll start with this one. They're a little bit stiff. They're not, they're not too bad though. I wonder if I should, let's just do it. We'll just do a little bit of acetone. Which, which was that when we were looking and it was like, you need to clean. Oh, it was the, the wand talking about clean off the protective, whatever off of the brushes before using. Okay. So we're going to want to use the darker, darkest purple. filled with gemstones that would be fun oh my god that could be my job all day long sitting around filling little tiny little tiny things with little tiny gemstones so I, I might want to use more of a striper for this let's see how we this probably be okay You know, because I mean, the thing, the thing with branches that I always have to remember is don't overdo it. Like you get like way too many branches going. So we're going to try and keep that in mind. Like when we're, especially when we're doing it on the nail. All right, let's, uh, and we're just doing a couple tests to see how this is looking over, over this gradient. And I think it's looking good so far. I like what I'm seeing. It's, uh, oops, that's a little thick. It's, it's visible over the darkest part because like I said, it is even darker and it is metallic. So the question would be, I mean, in two, I mean, sometimes like when you got big old trees and then there's like maybe a branch up here, maybe there are little branches coming down, you know, like deci deciding what kind of style you want your branches to have is like, give them a little wiggle. Straight branches are boring. Maybe this guy's led a rough life. Hashtag Bob Ross. <laughs> Let me rinse that off just a little bit. You don't want it to get sticky. Brushes act weird when they're sticky. I just want to try these ones um, the other direction. Just like, actually, let's get out a little bit more of that purple. With the lightest toward the bottom, whichever side I decide the bottom is. So something like... and I like I mean okay I'm just like barely starting to use it but I mean I like the way this brush handles so far mm. we'll do a couple more and then we'll see how the snow looks on top that's also kind of like a crucial well not crucial but important 
part of the design. It was part of the, the design intention. You know, snow, snow was part of the original plan. And some of these, you know, as, as you try to keep the branches simple, you can add like a little bit more girthiness to them. Something a little bit more like that. Or again, maybe there's like a couple branches that are growing up here and reaching down to say hi to their friends. I think that's good. All right, let's rinse this out. Try not to. I mean, I probably should rinse it with water too, but I, I know I probably won't keep that up. Of course, actually, maybe I want to use that one for Janessa too. Should I, are these, those are probably drier. Let's flip this around again. <clears throat> yeah, I could see sitting there and doing like rainbow or doing a gradient or doing like stripes or All right, so let's try let's try with the same brush. My other thought was maybe I'd want to use like a dotting tool. Of course, I need to make sure that the branches have like a definite upper part because that's where the snow would want to stick, like in the crooks of the branches, right? And on the more horizontally parts. And maybe this is also another reason to make the branches a little girthier, like these guys, so that they have more room to support the snow and more places for the snow to, to cling to. Kind of like that. I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to obliterate or completely cover the branch, but you want it to be obvious. It's just, it's like on top of it and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking about gravity. Because, <laughs> I mean, otherwise, uh, let, let's have some more Bob Ross. If you don't do that, it's going to look weird. and People won't understand exactly why your painting looks weird, but subconsciously they'll know it. Like if you sit here and fucking start painting snow on the wrong side of the branches like that. I mean, it just, oh, I'm like not properly on camera. Casparina, thank you for the follow. But you know, it, it's one of those things where your eye does subtly go to it and you're like, why does that even, what what is bothering me is your first like realization. And then why is that bothering me if you can identify what it is that's bothering you? So let's try these ones here now too. Do we need, that's, that's probably still enough polish. So like this one here, it's like on top of the branch, like a little icy snowy thing up up top here and down into there maybe a little bit here maybe maybe the branches actually coming from over here I think this is I think this is great the colors work for water marbling they're, they're doing pretty much what I want them to do here. I think we can call day one successfully planned, you guys. I'm, I'm going to have to, the one thing I'm going to have to be mindful of is that there are some, there's horizontalness to the branches. Like this, this, this one right here is probably my favorite. This one looks a little bit weird. This one coming down from the top would be hard to, to properly snow. I mean, some of the branches might be okay. Like these upper ones that I have going like that. But really, like, this is more what I... These, some of these are okay, too. But this one, this one is my favorite. What what time is it here? Five o'clock. Um... Yeah. Oh, dang it, you guys. 
it is it's it's completely dark out my window now i was looking at that twilight and i was like oh let me just wait five minutes and apparently i waited like an hour <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> um i was gonna say yeah look at the snow on the branches outside my window but you can't see anymore i'm Oh. Yeah, ex exactly, KJD. And I mean, I've got I've got lots more opportunities in this this twelve days of Christmas plan to have things not go according to plan. I'm my 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 thought process right now is how hungry am I? How tired am I? Um. Do do I want to stream a little bit more and plan a little bit more for? coming days or do I want to cut st I, I still have to edit tomorrow's tutorial too I recorded it over a week ago and I still haven't edited it Edit edited it and I see this is a little bit glary on camera but you can just see let me, let me put this one so it's right side up for you so you can see this is the one I was saying was my favorite like as far as capturing snow covered tree this this little branch here in particular this this one um, what is day two? I've already forgotten. Of course, I don't have to necessarily. Or day three and four. Oh, the red bows and accents that I may or may not leave as red and gold. The icicle reciprocal. I may actually have already practiced for at some point, but I need to be able to find that. Days nine and ten and eleven and twelve, I don't think are going to need a ton of testing. Because the the wrapping the striped wrapping paper idea, the the main thing with that is just figuring out if I can accomplish the look that I want with a water marble. The ornate stained glass that's that barely needs any any testing really because I I think I'm I know what what I'm doing with the colors. It's just vinyls. I've marbled with the color paints before, so it would just be. Um, like very minute it's not a question of whether the colors work it's just like well how many rings do i want to do what colors we're doing on each hand and etc like that so the last four days probably don't need a ton of testing but the red and gold and the green and either more green or silver and icicle reciprocal need testing but we oops oh Oh, I'm I smeared it. Um, I'm really pleased with this. I'm really pleased with oh, where did it go? Um, the water marble test. Which if anybody anybody is just joining us or missed that, let me zoom out a couple couple ticks here. Um, there we go. So, like this sort of a tree and this sort of a water marble are day one and two of 12 days of Christmas this year. And it's so interesting. Now, look at the camera right now. And do you, like this, this is exactly kind of what I wanted. Like looking at it right now, it's giving me black and white vibes, even though you guys all know that almost every single one of these colors is purple. You know what I mean? Like without my, without any other colors in there. Like it's just giving a very a very toned down neutral wintry look. I love it. Snowy nighttime scene. Yes, yes, exactly. Fuzzy. I'm I'm feeling kind of relieved, you guys. I was I was nervous and unsure of how this was gonna go. Cause I, uh, like I said I'm tired and I'm stressed and kind of had plans, but this really went well. I, I don't I don't think I'm gonna do more testing though I, I think I am gonna call it um and send you guys send you guys off somewhere elsewhere else elsewhere um and tomorrow tomorrow is usually gaming I'm not sure if tomorrow will be gaming or if tomorrow will be more testing it, it's kind of going to depend on what kind of a mood I'm in. Um, I, I do still want to stream tomorrow, but I'm not sure what it is we'll be streaming. So, I could sell those. Sell what? 
this I mean the I sell my idea <laughs> do do some fake nails I've thought about doing the nails that seems like such a huge project though <clears throat> um let's uh let's see here um mm-hmm yeah it looks like looks like that is where we're gonna go I, I do believe um and the raid message oh the swatches these these swatches or you mean these these swatches <laughs> they remind me it would it would be kind of fun to do like uh you know like how paint chips are like a long strip and then they're each like just a little square of with like nail polish if i sold them i have i would have so much to sell on ebay i have i have e I don't if I want to say every. I'm sure every now and then one's been tossed away. I don't throw away my water marble test strips. I've got shoe boxes full of just water marble test strips. Yeah. I really like it. I'm I'm really I don't expect the rest of it to go this smooth. I I do want to say that up front because we really lucked out. The only thing and and look, you don't really notice. Do you guys notice that Harley is missing in the water marble? I mean, it's, it's not missed. This, this, this is, this encapsulates what I want 12 days of Christmas to be this year. Oh, the branches. I, I've thought about, I've, I've thought about lots of stuff. I, I've thought about like trying to do that type of stuff or like water marble type of stuff and, and do like some jewelry or something and do them on eBay. I never thought about just doing the swatches. I don't know if anybody would really buy that. Would they? I don't know, but we're going to go, we're going to go raid Dr. Crotron and the raid message is sneaky, sneaky doc surrounded with emotes of your choice. Um, th thank you guys so much. I know I've been saying this like since I started stream but I really you I'm you got you guys know me well enough you probably can tell I'm not like top tier self today um but I I really appreciate you guys we had some good laughs and smiles and we we got some we got some shit done uh we had a productive few hours and uh, celeb napkins <laughs> but I'm not a celebrity though <laughs> Oh, thank you, Sunbird. Oh, <laughs> you got you got it eventually, Music Al. Um, yeah, there there is the raid message. Um, I, I forgot to hit enter when I said before there's the raid message. And um, yeah, just thank you guys all so much. I'll try to post updates in Discord. There's going to be a lot of streams. All the rest of the testing, all the uh, recording of tutorials, I am going to stream so once we get going, it's going to be streams almost every day. I will post updates in Discord. Uh, once I try to schedule things out, I'll try to update the schedule uh, below the player. But if you're not there, <laughs> uh, well, there's the raid. <laughs> Too late. <laughs>